The notion of protecting guests from the threat of COVID-19 just claimed another Austin event, the Pecan Street Festival. It was scheduled for this weekend, but it is now canceled. Several vendors emailed us wanting to know why they are out money at the last minute. The biannual festival celebrates artists and takes over E6 Street. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell got some answers from the city and festival organizers, but they still don't satisfy some of those vendors. This is the second year that they've canceled on us, and it's getting really hard. For Tante Vandenberg's jewelry business, the Pecan Street Festivals are the biggest events of the year. All that money that you put in, not only for your booth, but for the raw materials, all the hours of work that you do. I was going to debut a collection at this event. It's just all down the drain. She paid nearly $1,000 for her booth. Festival organizers say usually those payments are non-refundable, but they're offering a 40% refund of what vendors paid or space at the next event in May. It just hurts a lot of people that don't have a lot of recourse. Tommy Hill owns Unearthed ATX and doesn't understand why he won't be able to sell his work at an outside event when so many others are allowed to go on. We still have high school football. You have UT, which has 100,000 fans. You have uh, CODA, you have ACL. ACL is the only one of those that's under the city's purview, however, and its permit hasn't been approved yet. Austin updated its requirements for special event permits on city property at the end of August, saying large events must require a negative COVID test from every attendee. Pecan Street organizers say they couldn't reasonably make that change because the event is free and people walk onto 6th Street from so many different directions. Embroidery shop owner Natalie Wallace understands the changes but thinks festival planners should offer full refunds for booth fees. And they're keeping 60% of that based off of a decision that they're making that we had no control over. Those fees were due Friday, which is after the city says organizers acknowledged they couldn't meet the city's new requirements. We've had no communication. We didn't know that the city updated their requirements. We found out yesterday, you know, along with everyone else on social media. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. Festival organizers tell us they are struggling as well, and the 60% of booth fees being kept goes towards expenses they paid while planning this event. The city told us today the Miller Farmers Market is exempt from rules thanks to a previous order from the governor. It classifies the event as a food service, even though it's on city property, the city cannot touch it. We also asked about the Zilker relays, the city telling us that event is not large enough to trigger the COVID-19 testing requirements.